Hello guys, Marcins here and welcome in my another Lightroom tutorial. Last time I tell you about split tuning panel, but today I want to tell you a few words about tone curve panel. So at first it's our basic photo, but using only this one tone curve panel, you can increase your contrast and highlights on your image. It's very useful panel if you want to make your image more intense. And let's start. Here you have free stop cursor. The first cursor is our shadow part. It's here on 25. The second panel is mid tones. It's on the half road on our curve. And the last stop cursor is highlights. So for example, I add some highlights. And as you see, this part on my curve is up. And if I drag it down, my highlights on the image are down and the curve line is also down. So I add about 50. And the other thing is you can move this uh, stop cursor if you want. For example, I change my highlights to 60. So automatically the range of the highlights are higher, as you see. It started right here, and when I drag it here, your range is smaller. So I back to 75. The second things are lights. It's here between your mid tones and highlights. It's this part. So I drag it up also, and as you see, this part is up. I put about 35. So as you see, our image is very bright right now. But now I need to add some contrast. And to add some contrast, we need these two last options, darks and shadows. Dark is between your shadows and midtones. If I want to darker my image, I need to drag it down. So, for example, about 30 can of course move your stop cursor and the last shadows you can of course drag it up but then your image is without contrast so if you need some contrast and shadows just drag it down like your darks so let's see on our result that was our basic image and right now we are here as you see now we have these nice lights and nice shadows and contrast on our image. So right now I hope you know how to use this tone curve panel. If you want to reset your settings, just click here, reset. And it's all, you can start from beginning. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next tutorial.